Welcome to the top of the morning show. It's your girl TT from the D. And we are on day 26 of the 30 day scripture challenge. We have four more days to go, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm telling you, it's been a journey. And I'm not complaining. I've learned a lot, as I always do. But I have a lot that I want to take on after September 30th. So today's word that we're going to unpack is Psalm 103 and 4. And before we get into the word to unpack, let's just have a word of prayer. Shall we? Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come to you saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the purpose that's attached to us. Thank you for traveling mercy and graces. Whether it's locally, national, international. Highway, byway, plane, train, automobile, bicycle. However we get where we're going, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for providing a way. Thank you for safety. Thank you for health. Thank you for love. Thank you for forgiveness. We thank you for this word that we're getting ready to receive this morning, and we hope that it will help us along our journey on this terrific Tuesday. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to unpack Psalm 103 and 4. And it reads as follows. Who redeems your life from the pit? Who crowns you with favor and compassion? Now, you know, like I know, that we weren't made to suffer and go through life yet who are we to not suffer in life if how can I put it if the man upstairs sacrificed and gave his life for us he was betrayed and sold out like a prince concert by Judas what makes you think that you and I won't go through that are you a Judah have you been betrayed by a Judah that's rhetorical see some of us encounter problems that leave us struggling mentally emotionally spiritually and God didn't create us to live a life filled with defeat hardness of our hearts or burdens because he tells us in his word to bring our burdens to his feet and leave them there but you know how you and I can be we want to go back and check to see if he got it we want to make sure it's all well he created us to have reign over the whole earth to be prosperous and blessed and multiply he already has purpose attached to each one of our lives individually and collectively we can do some amazing things if we apply ourselves because he redeems us he said it in his word he redeems us daily you're crowned my king you're crowned my queen you're crowned young prince you're crowned young princess to do amazing things to be successful beyond your own imagination there's so much that we can conquer in this life but we have to take it day by day and we gotta start somewhere a lot of us want a microwave moment type of life yet we don't want a microwave meal we want it seared or sauteed or baked or fried or grilled that means they all those methods take time. Anything that comes to you really, really fast, don't tend to stay. Put in the work. Trust in the word. Trust yourself. Have faith in you like you have faith in God. And if you don't have faith in God, I'm not here to judge you. But I need you to have faith in you. And just take a chance. Just take a chance. Well, that's all I have for you on this terrific Tuesday. And hold you long today. 
I think that word will resonate with you. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes more is less. This is your girl TT from the D. And I'll see you soon.